Hey, Michael here, music director at Rockatar. I am so excited that you are working on this drum series. I hope you've been enjoying bouncing the sticks and playing the drums and working on your grip, so keep at it. Now we're going to learn one of the very first rudiments of playing drums, and this is going to develop what we call sticking techniques. And this is um, probably the most well-known rudiment in drumming, and it's called a paradiddle. So we're going to talk about this. Now a paradiddle is a certain method of playing. It's a certain way of using your right hand and your left hand and hitting the skin. And you can do paradiddles on any drum. Typically, we work on the snare drum or our drum pad. So for now, if you have your sticks and a drum pad, get ready because I'm going to show you how to do this. And if you're sitting in front of a snare drum or your drum set, let's get ready to go. So the first thing that you want to do, you're comfortable, you're relaxed, you've got your tips of your sticks ready to hit the skin, you're holding your hands right, you know you're going to use your wrists, you've got a comfortable grip, your sticks are sticking out of the back of your hands, you feel really relaxed, okay? So here we go. We're going to start with our right hand, and this is how we do the paradiddle. It starts like this. We hit the drum with our right hand first, and we go right, left, right, right. That's the first part of the paradiddle. I'm going to do that again, real slow. Right, left, right, right. Okay? Now, if you're sitting at a drum set and you're not sure which hand is your right hand, you could ask your parent or your right hand is the hand on the side where the ride symbol is. Okay? So that's your right hand. Here we go. One more time. Right, left, right, right. Now that was the first half of the paradiddle. The second half is starting with the left hand. Here we go with the left hand. Same pattern, but it starts with the left hand. Here we go. Left, right, left, left. Let's try that again. Try it with me if you've got your sticks out. Left, right, left, left. One more time, one more time. Loosen up. Here we go. Left, right, left, left. Now, while you're practicing these paradiddles, if your stick isn't bouncing up from the drum skin, I want you to work on that a little bit, and I want you to think about your drum skin like a trampoline. And I'm sure you know what a trampoline is. It's something that you jump on, and you could jump really, really high. So the drum skins, all these drum skins on the drums are just like trampolines for the drum sticks. So instead of you jumping on a tra trampoline, you've got your drum stick bouncing off of the drum skin, just like a trampoline. So make sure that when you hit that drum skin, the tip of your stick is going to bounce right up, just like this. And if you're having a hard time with your stick bouncing up and it's looking or sounding more like this, where your stick is staying down on the skin, lighten up. Just relax. Make sure you're using your wrists. Help the stick bounce up from the skin. You could lift it up a little bit with your wrists. Just make sure the tip of the stick is bouncing. Let's work on those paradiddles one more time, okay? We're going to put them together. So we're going to do our right, and then we're going to do our left. So right hand pattern, and then the left hand pattern. Here we go. Get ready. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. That's the whole paradiddle in its entirety. Let's try that one more time. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. Good. Now, sometimes when I teach paradiddles, I sometimes see some of my students performing in this way, right, left, right, right. 
and then they take a pause, and then they go left, right, left, left. Not good. Really important to keep your sticking even and syncopated. What syncopated means is that you're striking the skin evenly with each stick at the same timing or tempo. It's important to keep tempo and we're going to be talking about that real soon because our next lessons we're going to be working on fills and we're going to be working on beats. But it's important for you to get the paradiddle down, the stick bouncing down and to really get comfortable playing the drums. So here we go. Let's do that paradiddle one more time, nice and syncopated and in time, and let's keep the pattern up. So now I'm going to go with a paradiddle practice so that you could start developing your skills. So when you are practicing your paradiddle, you keep going. You never stop. And it looks something like this. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, 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 So that's the paradiddle practice. And again, it's one of the key rudiments in learning how to play drums, which is one way to develop your sticking techniques and start building some great handling skills with learning how to play drums. So keep up the good work on the paradiddles. Just relax, have some fun, and I will see you in our next lesson.